This video is going to be about mounting and transporting your kayak on your car SUV or in this case a Jeep Wrangler. There's a lot of discussion when it comes to how to transport your kayaks. Uh, lots of people really like using pool noodles or uh, foam blocks. Others go on a bare roof. Uh, others will just use the roll cage if you're using a Wrangler. Um, I'm a big fan of using a crossbar system of some sort. I feel a lot more secure and safe if I know that there is a system that will definitely keep the kayak in place, uh, especially at high speeds or in the event of a crash. I know that they can be pricey, but one way I found to cut the cost is to find them used. The first uh, crossbar system that I got, I got on eBay, and I used it for four years across two different vehicles. I still have the same towers on here, I just had to get longer um, crossbars to fit the Wrangler. When it comes to different types of kayaks, Yes, of course, if you have a white water boat or a recreational kayak or even a sea kayak that's made out of strong plastic, sure, you could just put some foam down and strap them onto the rack itself. Uh, but when you're talking about different materials, fiberglass, Kevlar, you want to be a little more careful about your sea kayak. So uh, usually J racks or some kind of cradle or something that will hold it in place and not hurt the kayak when you strap them down. Now, there's a lot of different roof wrap options for the Wrangler. Uh, after a lot of research, I decided to go for the Cargo Master Congo cage. What I liked best about it was uh, that it attaches to all of the pre-existing um, mounts on the Wrangler, so uh, you're not actually altering the body at all. I'm able to take out the freedom panels as well as the rooftop and slide it out without altering the cage. For soft top options, uh, you can remove these screws and the entire cage pivots back so that you can move the soft top back and forth. Now for the rack themselves, there's lots of different ones. You have cradles, you have J-racks, you have J-racks made out of aluminum. These here are Yakima bow downs. Uh, what I like about these is you can unscrew them and bring them down. So what I like doing is David McPherson showed me this from Sikai Connected a long time ago too. He's now switched over to using the top to the crossbars because of the type of rack he uses. But I liked his approach where it's up and over, grabs onto the crossbar, comes back, and then grabs onto the crossbar again. That only works if you have a nice big lip on your J-rack or if you're using a cradle rack where the boat is sitting uh, flat. But I really like grabbing the crossbar as many times as possible so that you know the boat is attached to a very, very strong point in your rack. It's not just attached to only the J-rack or the cradle rack. So you should tighten, but not over tighten. You don't want to hear any creaking. Uh, if it's a plastic boat, you can clearly go a little bit tighter, but make sure you're not damaging your boat. So for very tall vehicles, one of the alternatives is the Thule Holivator. It's, it's expensive, but one of the ways to try to cut down costs is to find one that's used that's in good condition. So what's really great about it is it allows you to mount the kayak waist height, and then once the kayak is ready, it assists you with the weight of the boat until it's up on the roof. The rule I like to follow for balanced turn lines is if I'm going somewhere local, uh, back roads only, no highway, and speeds I'd say less than 35 to 40 miles an hour, then I don't use them. But if I'm going any faster than that or I get on the highway for any bit of time, uh, I always use them. Uh, they're just another level of security to know that if anything else in the system fails, these will help keep the kayak in place. They don't need to be very tight, they're only there as extra security. So here I'm going to go from the toggle to the hitch mount. It just has to be tight enough to keep it in place. Quick tip, if you see that one of your str straps is uh, banging around or whistling too much, you can give it one turn and that will uh, disrupt the air enough for it not to vibrate like that anymore. One of the nice things about some of these brands like Yakima, Thule, Malone is they use rubber to cover their cam straps so that you can throw them around and you're not gonna get your kayak or your car hurt. There's also a lot of debate between ratchet straps and cam straps. I'm a firm believer that cam straps are better because you could really tighten the strap down without damaging the kayak. I'm not saying the ratchet strap will hurt them. I'm saying human error will hurt your kayak. Uh, especially in the beginning, you're not really sure how much pressure to put on it. You can easily over tighten them and hurt your kayak. Another point I wanted to make is a lot of people like taking their straps and either putting them through the windows or putting them in their doors. 
I personally don't like either of them. I'd rather just tie them off or daisy chain them and put them away on the bungee cords. Uh, I just, these wind up getting a lot of vibrations at high speeds and I'd rather not have that possibly hurt the window or uh, over the course of time, I don't want to hurt the seals that keep uh, our doors watertight. Last tip to mention, if you're getting a lot of noise or humming from any of the crossbars or if you have a cage, the cage is doing that, wrap some thin paracord along its length so it'll disrupt the airflow enough to stop it from humming or giving you any of those notes. Uh, that's exactly the same reason you see that on antennas and other things like that. So I hope that was useful. Please reach out with any questions or anything you want to discuss about the things I talked about. Uh, there's no right or wrong way. These are just the ways that i found have worked for me and uh, I try to be as safe as possible. Uh, please subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. And the last thing is I will be posting links to all of these items that I would recommend on my website so that if you want to, you can find out more about them. See you next time.